be there like in this moment, inevitable moment, will never be again. And it wasn't before, so I was just like trying to focus on that. So no matter what I'm going through at this point in my life, I'm grateful. I miss my cat. I really miss them. Since I just moved on to another house, I don't have any cats. I have my friend's cat for a while, but she's back. Come on again. But I can't have cats in this house. It's kind of small, and I love for them to have their own space. Especially for the food and the little pox and all the stuff. And it's kind of tight in here, so I feel like I can't, I can't do that. So maybe when I move on to another bigger house, I guess I will have cat, I will have even like small dog or anything. I love animals, I really love them. They're just so gentle. Like maybe even gentle like on human beings, which is bad but that's the truth that's it let's see okay i was just recording some videos and then i i don't want to change my clothes i didn't wear like um dark color especially for the lips because it matches my lip color matches my top which is amazing and i really love like I didn't apply full makeup from end of May, I guess. Full makeup. I didn't apply full makeup since yeah, the end of May. So it's about like two months. Two months now, no full makeup. Now I'm wearing full makeup because the weather here is a bit a bit nice outside. It's nighttime now. So it's a big nice outside and I have my air conditioner on from like about two weeks and you have no idea how that really changed my life because I'm that kind of girl who can I can't tolerate I can't tolerate hot weather especially with this climate change it was super hot in August it began with this in a weird way kind of not, not cold but it's not that hot like as it was in july and the weather um or the wind at night it's kind of nice it's kind of cold and it's raining in upper egypt it's raining and i heard that it was raining in saudi arabia i guess it was raining in europe so what what the fuck what's going on uh, so it's kind of weird uh, here in Egypt. We know August is the hottest, hottest month of the year. It's kind of hell. We call it the year of August, not month of August. So starting like that, it's kind of weird. And just five days just pass by like this from August. Just like I hope the end of it will be the same because it always is like. And just like looking you in the face and just like say I don't want to go I'm gonna stay and just like staying and you feel like the sun has a family and bring the family with it like without the climate change okay just bring the family with it just like want to stay have a summer time here in Egypt in August I hated that month really hate it so I'm grateful for my air conditioner that I have it finally I'm here I'm so grateful for it yep and I can say. I'm, so, I'm so happy I can say I'm so happy I'm really happy Sometimes we need to be grateful for the stuff that we have. Okay. We, 
actually all the time we need to be grateful for the stuff that we have that we can do it. okay sometimes life don't go the way that we want of course but you need to take your responsibility for it there was a reason for what i'm going through right now still learning still trying I keep trying until i die but the good thing i'm not afraid of dying anymore I'm not I'm just like i i know that dying is just it's just a transcendence to a higher level from the physical form to my unphysical form i will be free to be honest i will not be trapped in this body anymore i will be free so i transcend to a higher level i will not be visible for the people who love me i will not interact with the people the way they interact with them right now i'll be in a higher level the the level of connection will be completely different or we'll never know how it's gonna look like until we die of course but i'm not afraid of dying i know i will go to a higher level i will be in a different place i will be in my natural form again like we are in a physical form here so see if we can like interact and i was watching like uh, for a couple of days now i was watching dark matter it's the new version the new one 20 uh 24 2024 amazing but you need to know the basics of the quantum physics before you watch it you need to know the basics or you will never understand it or if you love the nolan christopher nolan movies you will understand it because it's like it's talking about in the quantum level in the quantum entangle entanglement on the like uh, the superposition and and all that like there is multiverse is a mu like an infinite number of possibilities in it so it has an infinite number of possibilities there is an infinite number of you in a multiverse infinite number of universe so it's multiverse this idea i've been like uh, going through in movies and series like lately but it's it's science like it's the quantum physics actually so you need to know the basic of the quantum physics before watching it i'm really enjoying watching it i am in that last episode now and i just like i want to change and just sit there like in something and and watch it because i'm just like oh my god it's so amazing i don't know how it's gonna end i don't know if it's gonna make another like uh, sequence i don't know but it's amazing it's amazing just like the three body problem again it's kind of a, like a sci-fi or science fiction, but at the same time, it can happen. It can happen. I don't believe that we are the only, like, the only thinking being in the universe. So huge, super huge. We're nothing. We're nothing in the space. So I believe there is other creatures or other. Um, uh, what what we say other what what uh entities yeah the other entities around there i don't believe that we are the only one i don't believe that i believe there's maybe more more even even more maybe us in other universe who is more developed than us who knows <laughs> we don't know so that that part of science gave me so excited. I wanted to be a physics from sometimes in my life. I love physics, but I love quantum physics even more. So I'm gonna go and change my clothes. I'm, I'm going through a rough time now, and I was a date with myself today, <laughs> and I actually I I had a good time. I am kind of like feeling good feeling good i can say i can I'm, I'm happy at the moment i'm just like uh be present as such a girl always said be present in the present moment be there like in this moment inevitable moment will never be again and it wasn't before so i was just like trying to focus on that so no matter what i'm going through at this point in my life i'm grateful and i'm just it because it's a minute now i'm gonna change my clothes wash my face and just have something nice to eat and have some popcorn 
in watch last episode i don't know what i'm gonna watch next but yeah i love you guys um, i know i'm not blobbing but just like let's talk right let's talk